The high vibe message of the day for May 9th, Tuesday, is that you are not a static being. Every moment, you are a new version of yourself. Now the thing that holds most people back and keeps most people stuck is the story they tell themselves about who they are that they are attached to. And remember, let me put this down for a sec so you can see this little analogy. You can only perceive of which you believe to be true about yourself. So if your story is, I work a nine to five job I hate, and that's just the way reality is, then the reality you will perceive of, you will think, feel, and act equal to that reality. And then what happens is you stay stuck in it because there's a belief that that story has to stay there. That story can change at any moment. Like think about it, in my own, and you look at me as an example. Back in 2017, my story was I'm a nine to five job goer. I go to work and yes, I complain about my job. I don't like it, but it's what I do, it's familiar. And I go to this nine to five job I don't like and that's familiar for me, that's natural for me. At one moment, in one moment, I simply decided I am now a full-time YouTuber. I know it sounds silly, but I realized that I was thinking, feeling, and acting equal to this nine to five job, and if I want to change my reality, I need to make a new choice about who I am. So what I did is I decided I am now a full-time YouTuber, and I started being that, which means I started making videos every single day on YouTube. And at first, it felt not normal, it felt weird. I, was re I really cared about what other people thought. But then what ended up happening, is after doing it for a period of time, repetition, it became a part of my natural identity. Which is funny because people say, that's not who I am. I've, it feels fake to be a YouTuber or whatever it is. It's not that it feels fake, it's just not familiar. Because once I put in the reps, I then became a YouTuber. It then was easy for me. So really, instead of saying, oh, that feels fake, say it's just not familiar yet. It's not familiar yet. I haven't put in the reps yet. It'd be like going to the gym and then just lifting one little five pound weight like this one time and being like, I'm not, where's the muscle? I'm not big yet. I wanted the muscle, but you just, you just did it once. You do it repetitiously. And then over time, your identity changes. Then you start loving going to the gym. Then your self image changes. So the high vibe message of the day is that you are not a static being. Any moment, every moment you're a new you. Every moment you're a new you. Every moment you're a new you. What science literally shows, by the way, is that every moment your cells in your body are dying and being reborn. Now this is how trippy this gets, by the way. You wanna take this a step further with science and shit? <laughs> Here we go. When it comes to this, this is, this is a, a scientific study. This has been tested many times for people that have something called pers uh, multiple personality disorder. Or what happens is they may be in one personality. It's like this show called the United States of Terra. I don't know if you ever see that. I watched that back in like 2010. I don't even remember. <laughs> but it was about this woman who was a mom. And then also she had this like buck, this person she shifted into that was buck, which is like this hillbilly person. And then this other person that had a different personality. Buck was a lesbian, but then she was uh, naturally a wife with kids and stuff like that. But she had these different personalities and she would shift into them unpredictably. And it was a show that's supposed to be funny about that, right? People that have multiple personalities though, one thing that's very interesting is when they shift from one personality to the other, one personality, let's say is Tara, maybe has one type of personality, maybe she likes certain foods, maybe she even has certain eye color. Five minutes later, she shifts into Buck. Buck maybe have a completely different personality, maybe even a completely different sexual orientation. Maybe even Buck has a disease or cancer. And you could test Tara one moment, five minutes later, test Buck. And from one moment to the next, she doesn't have cancer, then she does when she shifts to the personality. Then she shifts back and then she doesn't have it again. And with the shit, her eye color may even shift. This is a phenomenon that they've studied in people with personality, multiple personality disorder. Which begs the question, if from one moment to the next, she can not have cancer and then have it, why is it that it can happen like this? Same body, right? Same body, right? 
No, it's not the same body because every moment the cells are dying and being reborn. She believes, based on her belief about who she is, that could be affecting how she's showing up, the energy from which she's showing up, and that state of either having that or not having whatever that is, having that eye color or not. That's how quickly things can shift. So at a certain moment, I gave myself permission to be a full-time YouTuber. I committed to it. I made videos every day. It was weird at first. The more repetitions I put in, the easier it got. That changed everything about my energy and then my whole entire life changed as a reflection. So your message today is that you're not static. You are who you choose to be right now. You are who you choose to be right now. Now, today, this is the last week, by the way, May 15th, I'm gonna be doing a three week free transformation process for people that wanna learn how to go full time doing what they love and become a conscious entrepreneur. I'm doing this with two buddies of mine, Victor Odo and Matt Schaefer. We're looking for beta testers that will come through for free in exchange for feedback and testimonials. So if you are a coach, a healer, a psychic, a tarot card reader or astrologer or whatever and you wanna learn how to go full time with your passion in a three week process of removing the subconscious blocks that are holding you back so that you shift into this new you, Click the link below and join apply. You do have to apply for it. If you're accepted, you'll be coming through for free. Other than that, I hope you have a great day. And as always, peace, much love, and namaste.